Hello friends. In this video, I am going to explain about the approval process, nothing approval process as well as cascading approval. Okay. So most of the times in the real time, most of the times in the real time, we came across this approval process in any of our business scenario. So, you know, already PEGA is a business process management tool. So what is meant by the business process or forget about the business? Why it is called it as a business process means we used to follow one process. We used to follow one process in business scenarios, in business scenarios. For example, in banking sector, insurance sector or any sector, for example, insurance claim process okay there is a one process once you raise a request for a claim that has to be reviewed that has to be approved by the approvers then your claim request will be solved okay that is insurance process everywhere everywhere even in your home also there would be a one process in your home also there would be a one process in your recruiting process also there would be a one process that's why Everywhere there is a process. Everywhere there is a process. For example, okay, you have attended an interview today in so and so and company. You successfully cleared and your HR round is completed. Then uh, your HR will inform to you. So I need an approvals to generate an offer letter or I need an approvals to release an offer letter with so and so and CTC. So she mentioned or he mentioned approvals. What is meant by approvals? everywhere everywhere that's why in any business scenario or any business process management uh, usually this approval process will be happening usually this approval process will be happening for i just give a simple example in your home okay so dad i want to go to movie okay so what is the process you initiated a first process you initiated a request okay i want to go to movie you are the assigner you are okay then what your dad will say okay definitely you can go to the movie but before that please complete your homework yes then i can approve your request otherwise i can reject your request this is also one business this is also one process here there is no business that's why i don't want to call it as a business process here just it is just a process okay everywhere there is an approvals approvals is required to uh, fulfill the process most of the times in the business scenarios most of the times in the business scenarios uh, the approval process would be required uh, because we without approval process we it, we have we can have a simple process just you can submit it okay that would be resolved automatically then there is an approval here but uh, it won't happen in the business it won't happen in any business process because in the business process uh, end to end uh, reviews and approvals will be happened review and uh, approvals will be happened not only insurance claim so once you open your bank account once you open your bank account uh, okay after successful reviews and after successful approvals your bank account will be created when you turn when you try to open a loan request or if you apply for a loan request also after multiple review reviews after multiple approvals then only the loan amount uh, will be sanctioned to you that's why everywhere there is an approval process so in this video i am going to show you that end to end approval process okay end to end approval process and different types of and we can different types of approval process and we can see the different options in the approval process so luckily pega has provided one built in rule pega has provided a built in rule for this approval process no i don't want to depends upon the pega's built in approval process i can create my own approval process also that's your call and your wish no no concerns okay but uh, if the built in approval rule is satisfied for our requirement then what is the purpose of creating the new approval process and what is the purpose of creating a new rule 
okay that as i told you your wish if you are satisfied and this rule will be this rule will be suitable for your business requirement and you can use that otherwise you can go and create your new approval process okay before uh, going to implement this approval process let me tell you my requirement i have a one simple i have a one simple uh, insurance claim case in this in the first stage i can enter the claim details the claim amount and email id etc then your claim request should be reviewed by the some reviewers and after that your claim request should be approved by the approvers this is a very simple use case in this use case i am going to implement this approval process and here how many people will be involved <coughs> as a customer as a end user as a customer i can apply for the loan request sorry claim request i can apply for the claim request then based on the claim amount one second so based on the claim amount your request will be reviewed by the reviewer or your request will be approved by the approver see uh, okay this is just for a car loan this is just for a car loan uh, what what i am doing is if the loan amount is forget about the previous insurance claim okay for example this is a car loan if the loan amount is less than 5000 okay if the loan amount is less than 5000 okay review is required if the loan amount is greater than 5000 approval is also required approval is also required so let me tell you one business scenario then i will implement this approval process my business scenario is if the loan amount is if the loan amount is less than 5000 okay reviewer is enough but if the loan amount is greater than 5000 then approver is also review your loan request here my three people are involving one is customer who is going to apply the loan request next person is a reviewer reviewer will review the loan request next approver will approve the loan request approver will approve the loan request so before that let's go and check the operators okay i have a one customer this is customer and uh, access group is this one and uh, his is the work group is his work group is default at the rate of sbi default at the rate of sbi next reviewer he is his name is reviewer and his work group is default at the rate of sbi and if you want you can create a different work group also all together your wish that is based on your requirement and approver is also this is one more operator approver and i have given the default at the rate of sbi and he is also belonging to the same work group same work group loans work group or claims work group your wish okay now each and every work group having a manager each and every work group having a manager okay he is also okay each and every work group having the manager and if you want you can add n number of authorized managers if you want you can have n number of authorized managers so you sometimes you came across authorized dealers authorized dealers for example a samsung dealer but similarly samsung authorized dealers like that okay authorized managers okay so this is the uh, people are going to be involved in this your uh, loan request process your loan request process now come back to your car loan request uh, come back to your car loan case loan creation and loan review loan creation and loan review and if you want you just add stage loan approvals also if you want you can add a loan approvals also your wish your wish okay so what i am going to do without approval process i'm just want to click on save and run
now you can enter some loan amount etc and the request will be routed to the sorry the request will be go to the reviewers Okay, what happened just click on save and run i'm just running this case okay now here just giving the loan amount uh, i'm just giving the loan amount 5000 or 10000 you would call now click on submit it will go to the loan review screen directly because there is no approval here now in this example i am going to initiate the approval process i am going to initiate the approval process because if the client said why there is no approval process directly the customer is submitted the loan request and automatically the loan request is up uh, approving now but uh, we want to introduce the approval process each and every loan request should be validated or should be reviewed by the reviewer as well as approver etc okay now what i am going to do here i want to depends on the built-in approval process rule built-in approval process rule this is call it as a approve or reject approve or reject now here we have a two types of approvals single level approval and multi-level approval this multi-level in the sense cascading approval so first we will see the single level and next we will see the cascading approval in this video i'm going to show you all the options so in the if i am selecting the single level approval okay now the loan request is the loan request is routed to the loan request is routed to that means who is going to review or who is going to review or approve who is going to review or approve your loan request now see there are different types of options specific user work queue or business logic specific user okay your loan request should be approved by the so or reviewed by the so and so and person then only it will go to the next stage or no if the loan request is routed to the work queue in that from that work queue someone will pick and process and use business logic now use business logic means you can uh, using the decision tables using the decision tables you can route it to the appropriate person so that person will approve your loan request see routed to operator particular value based on the condition routed to operator based on the condition and there are other routed to work you routed to work queue and routed to work queue based on the condition route based on the availability of the skill set route based on the availability of the skill set and workload so based on these criteria based on these criteria you can route it to the particular operator because this is nothing but a business logic based on the conditions if this condition is satisfied then route it to this person if this condition is at otherwise this condition is satisfied because we have we can add n number of conditions see uh, we can add n number of conditions second condition and if you want you can add another condition okay routed to operator so and so and person when if, if this condition is satisfied next uh, routed to work queue so and so and work queue if this condition is satisfied routed to work queue if this condition is satisfied or routed to route based on the availability of the skill set and workload because each and every operator is having the skill set see for example there is a reviewer there is a skills based on the skills also you can route it to the assignment or you route you can route it to the request to the particular person and workload also based on the workload also if you want you can route it the assignment to the particular operator there are different types of options here now all these are nothing but a single level single level see that's why this is a single level 
in the single level routed to specific user or routed to work queue or business logic now what i am doing routed to specific user time being i am routed to the specific user now in the specific user also there are different types of options here there is a specific username or username reference field that means based on the property let us suppose uh, if you don't want to hard code the operator to whom you want to route it you can give that operator value dynamically using some property so whatever the property name which is having that operator value the request will be routed to that particular person and reporting manager and participant what is meant by the reporting manager try to understand this one each and every operator is having a field call it as a see there is a reports to for example in your organization in your work group for example you are belonging to the loans group so in your loans group uh, there are so many people are there people are working in that loans department now you are the one of the operator or you are the one of the employee etc you are reporting to the which person so because that's why business process management is uh, pega has uh, pega has designed and pega has developed all the outside all the how the organization or how the business process are running outside so pega has incorporated all these features which can be suitable to implement the any business process related applications very easily okay so that's why whatever the terminology and functionalities which you are seeing outside in the regular business sir, you can easily you can see it in your business process tool in the pega tool so see this one team or a work group reports to who you are reports into i am reporting to approver i am reporting uh, reporting to approver or uh, for example this customer end user for example this customer is usually customers won't report to any other persons but here customer reports to reviewer this reviewer is reports to approver and your approver is reports to so on so on person even in your in your organizations also for example you are the team lead you have to report it to the project manager and project manager is reported to the senior manager senior manager reported to the delivery manager like that because ultimately all you are calling as a one group of team group of team right so that's why they mentioned it as a team now that's why in the car loan also the routed to specific user that specific user is based on the username field user reference field or reporting manager or participants participants are nothing but a work parties participant is nothing but a work parties work parties are nothing but a people who are involved this end to end case life cycle people who are going to be involved in the end to end case life we call it as a participant okay now i am just giving the user name i am i just want to route it to the uh, reviewer that means the reviewer should review my loan request and there is an option call it as a you this approval the the people can approve or reject from the email as well as mobile also the email would be triggered an email will be sent to that particular operator or particular person that person can approve or reject this request from the email itself okay flow I, i'll come to this i'll come to later this one first we will see the options here next we will see this options now just for example save for example save that means your loan request is routed to uh this field this person reviewer this person reviewer once he approved it will go to the based on the approval condition or if he can reject based on the rejected condition it will fall it will continue it will continue now if you want you can open the process if you want you can open the process open a process see this is a sub process this is a sub process what is that sub process built in process just click on the sub process see px approval is the ootb sub process px sub pro approval is the ootb sub process so based on this sub process if you if your requirement is satisfied then okay you can use it or else you can change it or else you can change it also now if you want you can open px approval px approval i think you can also customize this one so just open this flow work dash this is from the work dash class
okay this is from the work dash class <coughs> See this one, if it is an approval type is a simple because I have, we have seen right there are two types of approval. One is a single level approval, another one is a cascading approval. Here an approval type is a simple, then it is a simple approval. If the approval type is a cascading, then it is a cascading approval. After simple approval is completed, after cascading approval is completed, based on the approve or reject appropriate actions will be performed appropriate actions will be performed then it will go to the end then the approval process is completed as usually it will go to the next stage as usually it will go to the next stage okay this is the OOTV px approval process now come back to our car loan come back to our car loan if i want to run the case you can run it because here this is the approval process now now if you want to just mention the approve approve or reject loan request etc save save now here what option i have chosen specific user routed to specific user the username is reviewer the username is reviewer okay now i just want to log in this portal i just want to log in the portal From a different browser i don't want to disturb the i don't want to disturb this current uh, login so that we can easily review it Now as a customer or as a end user, I am going to submit a loan request because I, I have a badly needed loan amount for example 10,000 or 20,000. Okay, now I am going to submit a loan request. Now I log in at a customer. Already I have already explained there is a customer operator in the PEGA application. Already created a customer operator. Similarly, you can create as an end user operator for your applications. Okay, now I'm going to click on create car loan. Okay, I'm just entering the loan amount. Okay, so on, so on. Mobile loan amount is 9000. Click on submit. Now, obviously, this loan request is okay something went wrong uh, what happened approve or reject just to save okay now open a process I'm just login once again. Something went wrong. I just discarded the previous rule. I discarded the previous flow. And let me log in with. Uh, now I'm trying to log in with customer again.
actions just to refresh your case okay, refresh okay now login with customer as usually i am going to create a car loan just loan amount is 9000 click on submit okay now the loan request is created now obviously now you submitted your loan request next uh, as per the current process it will go to the approval or rejection so the loan request will be routed to the particular person to whom it got routed to whom it got routed okay uh, i think uh, it, it got disrupt single level approval routed to specific user uh, user name is i want to review the reviewer save save i want to route it to the reviewer actually i have made a one video on this yesterday but unfortunately i don't know the reason it was not played open a process actions just to refresh now here also you can see approve or reject when you double click on this on the current page approval flow single level say routed to the specific user routed to the specific user to whom it got routed reviewer now i am going to create a one car loan again loan amount is 3000 click on submit okay now get approval see this one get approval please approve or reject this car loan who will approve who will approve it routed to the reviewer right now login with the reviewer sorry not this one right see this one uh, get approval c31005 open this case because the customer is submitted a loan request click on go and now you can provide your approval comments or rejection comments approved for loan amount okay now click on approve or if you want you can reject you can reject also approve after approval then the approval process is completed then the loan request will go to the next stage loan request will go to the next stage because i don't want to talk about the next stage just in the next stage i did not configure okay loan review etc so on so on but my only intention is then the approval request is routed to the reviewer now come back to the another options come back to the another options now here in the car loan as i told you what is this this is a single level approval single level approval routed to the specific user username field is reviewer now what i want to do now this time i want to route it to the specific user only but uh, instead of username i want to mention it as a reporting manager i want to mention it as a reporting manager that's it i did not hard code the person i did not hard code the person save now log off and create a new loan request because who will create a usually loan request customers now from the customer side customer is going to create a loan request click on 
now my new loan request click on create car loan the loan amount is 7000 submit now what is the loan request id c3100 now you tell me this loan request is routed to which person because how what you configured this request is routed to the reporting manager so reporting manager means who is the customer reporting manager because the customer is submitted the loan request right now the loan request is routed to the reporting manager of the customer because he created the request he created the request now who is the reporting manager of the customer so this customer is reports to reviewer this customer is reports to reviewer now if you want you can log in with reviewer now what is the case id c 31007 now i am logging with the reviewer now see this one 31007 now if this person can approve or reject see please approve or reject click on go now i am approving this loan request etc after that it will go to the next stage or the next the, in that stage also if they want if they if you want you can configure another approval etc that is your wish i don't want to talk about the another process i just want to talk about only this approval process now you can see that option right now come back to this car loan see now we have seen routed to the specific user in the specific user also username you know that user reference field means dynamically routing that is called it as a dynamic routing you don't want if you don't want to hard code the appropriate operator name here you can use the property name in that property name whatever the value which is set to that particular property then the request will be routed to the particular person now reporting manager we already seen similarly participants also work parties similarly participant also work parties the loan request is routed to the participant so who is the participant owner or to whom the request is i will make a different video on work parties time being we have already seen right a single level approval username user reference field and a reporting manager also now this is called it as a single level in the single level also routed to the specific user if you want you can use the work queue also you can provide the work queue, work queue name that is nothing but a work basket name and use business logic use business logic also now what i want to do just open my process in the single level flow itself i just want to show you some more options see just check out here if you want you can modify there the changes will be reflected in the case type if you modified a case type if you modified there then the changes will be reflected here now double click and you can open the settings approval flow single type routed to the specific user who is that specific user reviewer if the routed to the reporting manager okay who is the reporting manager we already discussed it right now if you want routed to the work group manager also work group manager okay now this time i want to show it to you this loan request is routed to work group manager click on submit click on submit save click on submit save and check in see i am telling you again there is a one more option call it as a work group manager see this one routed to work group manager reporting manager specific user work queue participant and use business logic these many options are there we have already seen specific user and reporting manager now i am going to explain about the work group manager work queue this time not possible again i have to configure it as a work queue work basket etc okay now participants also i will make a different video on work parties now work group manager just click on work group manager submit save check in you must check in the flow
one second i'm just closing and reopening I'm just logging into this application again. Now, yeah, usually I'm logging into Designer Studio. Now, uh, now I just want to open that flow again. Now routed to the work group manager. Now this is you know, in my private checkout only because I did not check in right. So where is this flow? Loan creation. Now I want to because I routed to the I routed to the work group manager, right? Okay. Now check in. Now you tell me once I submitted a loan request to whom this loan request will be routed. Clearly mentioned work group manager. Clearly mentioned work group manager. Who is the work group manager of the customer? Because the customer is going to submit the loan request, right? Now just open the customer operator ID. Organization, operators, the customer. Customer, as I told you, customer is belonging to the particular work group. Now open this work group, uh, there would be a one manager. Okay, now it will route it to the W manager. If you want, we will see. Now just log off. Now log in with the customer. Car loan. Loan amount is 4000. Click on submit. Now, what is the loan request? 31008. Log off. Now I am logging with W manager, work group manager. Because definitely it will be routed to the work group manager. So see this one 31108. He must have approve or reject. Now click on go. Okay, if you want, he can reject it. The case rejected. Click on rejected. Then the loan case will be automatically resolved and rejected. See approval or rejection resolved and rejected. The case got rejected. I will show you that flow as well. Now come back. We will see the one more option. Now you understand, right? You understand that the customer, sorry, work group manager option. Now, what are the other options? Now here you can see, now just double click on this one. We have seen the work group manager. We have seen the reporting manager. We have seen the specific user and the work basket. I don't want to see it uh, right now. I don't want to show it right now. Okay. Uh, 
options okay now just click on here there is a one more option there in the case type we have seen right use business logic here also there is an option call it as a use business logic just click on check out single level routed to work group manager reporting manager cost center manager specific user see use business logic use business logic means uh, you can create uh, a d dynamic routing because you don't know right based on the conditions you can route the request to the particular person so now here you have to configure a decision tree based on the decision tree logic you can route it to the particular person based on the decision tree logic you can route it to the particular person okay you can click on create and open and you can create a one decision tree based on that if the loan amount is less than 5000 you can route it to this particular person if the loan amount is greater than 5000 you can route it to the particular person etc click here click here to add a condition if okay if loan amount is uh, greater than 5000 then return to approver approver otherwise return to reviewer that's it click on save now you can use the dynamic routing now here you can add n number of conditions that is your wish because usually there are lot of approvals would be required right in the real time based on the conditions now come back to your loan creation dynamic routing click on submit save and check in now as usually now here open the just case type now open the car loan case type now you can see the options here actions refresh approval or rejection see here approval flow type is a single level and use business logic you remember one point here every time every time even though based on the conditions dynamically it will be routed to the one person only always it will be routed to the one person only that means uh, this approval your loan request should be approved or rejected by the one person at a time one person at a time this is called it as a single level approval okay now i am first now going to create a loan amount so loan request car loan the loan amount is 9000 if the loan amount is 9000 see to whom it will be routed let's see now what is the loan request case here 31009 Three one double zero nine. For your satisfaction, I will log in with the reviewer. I will log in with the reviewer. Okay, whether it will be routed to the reviewer or not, we will see. Three one double zero nine. It should be available in the work list if it is routed to this guy. Three one double zero nine is there? No. Okay, it is not routed to the reviewer. Okay, is it routed to the work group manager? Let's see. Is there any? Three one double zero nine in his work list. No work list is zero. Now I already mentioned right uh, that what is the dynamic logic condition? If the loan amount is greater than five thousand, then return to approver. Otherwise, return reviewer. Now I am logging with the approver. Now 
Now see, is there any work list? Yes, 31009 is in his work list. Now if you want, you just click on go. Approve, approved, then click on submit. Why this condition is like this? Why this behavior is? Okay, now it will go to that. So, so this is the these many options uh, on the single level approvals. Now we will quickly jump into the. So before jumping into that, we will see that uh, flow. We will see that flow. Now just open here or if you want, you can see it here or you can open the process. When you click on double click, when you double click this process, see you understand approval flow type single level routed to business logic. But uh, if approved, if approved, then continue and set cases. Okay. If your loan request is approved, then if you want to set some status, you can set it here. And here there are different types of options. There are different types of options here. If, uh, if the loan request is, if it is approved, then continue. If approved, then continue set status. If rejected, if rejected, then if the particular person is rejected your request, then what, what do you want to perform? You want to resolve the case? You can resolve the case. You want to change it to the next stage? You can move it to the another stage, your wish. Or if you want to continue, okay, either approve, either accepted or rejected, the case will be continue. You can continue. Similarly, the same thing will be happened if you approved, continue. Or if, if you want to change to a different stage immediately, then you can use that. You can use that. This is the flow and a goal and deadline because here I don't want to configure any goal and deadline. Okay, your loan request should be approved or rejected within seven days of time, etc. I'm not setting any SLA here. That's why use SLA is never because there is no SLA. So SLA won't be triggered when you configure it as a never or else you can use either custom SLA or existing SLA. That is your wish. Here I'm not talking about SLA. Now we will see the next option single level you were i think you are familiar with single level approval process now now come back to your multi level approvals what is the cascading approval or multi level approvals sorry multiple approvals just double click single level now this time cascading approval in the cascading approval we have a two types of options we have a two types of options one is in the cascading approval, we have a two types of options. One is a reporting manager, reporting structure. Another one is authority matrix. One is reporting structure, reporting structure. Another one is authority matrix, authority matrix. So in the reporting structure, see approval is based on the, so before that cascading approval, cascading means See, cascading means CSS, cascading style sheets. What is the name cascading here means? One, next one, another one, etc. One by one, one by one, cascading. Okay. This is nothing but cascading approval. In the cascading approval is also, approval is based on the type, reporting structure or authority matrix. Now I am selecting reporting structure. In the reporting structure, approval to be completed by the reporting manager or work group manager we have we have seen both these options in the single level approval reporting manager reporting manager or work group manager now I have already explained in the single level. Now I am going to tell the, I am going to explain in the reporting manager and work group manager for cascading approval. Now what I am selecting, I am selecting reporting manager. Approval based on the reporting structure, approval to be completed by the reporting manager and see this is very very important. Approval level is one, all or custom one all custom so before explaining this one so for example see this one you are the customer you are reporting to reviewer this reviewer is reporting to 
this reviewer is also reporting to approver again approver is reporting to any other operator no no now if you submitted any loan request now if you submitted any loan request now now this approval is based on the reporting structure means um, this loan request should be approved by the this loan request should be approved by the reporting manager of the customer reporting manager of the customer now who is the customer reporting manager reviewer okay but uh, again reviewer is also reports to the approver right the same loan request should be approved by the approver as well that is you have to decide here there is an option called it as approval level is single level approval or all approvals that means um, all that particular hierarchy has to be approved or only the first level has to be approved that is your wish again now i am selecting one i am selecting approval level is one and approval to be completed by the reporting manager who is the reporting manager now you as a customer you are submitting the loan request right now who will ab, sub, approve that loan request reporting manager because approval to be completed by the reporting manager approval is based on the reporting structure now just click on submit again save check in here this is it's similar to single level approval but uh, when you select all means then that then the behavior will be changed i'll show you log off now customer click on create car loan loan amount is 6000 click on submit now see this one c31010 now this c31010 is routed to reviewer because reviewer is the reporting manager of the customer that's why it is routed to c31010 review 10 now if you want you can approve or reject your wish approve like this this is nothing but a sing sorry this is nothing but acts just refresh here now you can see the options here as well because we have modified flow there right this is cascading approval in the cascading approval is also approval is based on the reporting structure in the reporting structure also who will approve reporting manager but now what i am going to do approval level is one right now i am selecting all just click on save now see the behavior before going to see this just understand this uh, customer customer reporting structure reporting structure of the customer just click on this one customer is reported to reviewer reviewer is reported to the approver now open the reviewer screen click on reporting structure reviewer is reported sorry reviewer is reported to approver now open the approver see approver is reporting to anybody no but uh, someone is reporting to approver that's why it is showing like this but approver is not reporting to any other operators now what i am going to do here what i have configured in the car loan cascading approval based on the reporting structure that's why i shown this uh, reporting structure if you want you can see the work group manager for example now this work group manager is also reporting to for example this work group manager is also reporting to another right like this again that approval chain will be started but uh, here in my scenario i'm talking about only reporting manager just log off i am going to create a new request now customer sorry before that let's save this option let's save this option what is the approval level all so save now this time your loan request should be 
reviewed and approved by the multiple people because you selected the approval based on the reporting structure and the reporting structure is also approval to be completed by the reporting manager only one reporting manager would be approved is not sufficient all the all the reporting manager should, should be approved now customer loan amount is 7000 click on submit now see the loan request c31011 now it is routed to the who is the first reporting manager reviewer because that is the hierarchy right login now c31011 now click on go approved now i am approving okay i don't have any concerns from my side approve now see here once you approved the loan request is not go to the loan review stage because there is a one more approval is pending because you selected all right log off now log in with approver because the reviewer is reporting to approver right now see this one the same request c31001 now here your wish if you want approve or reject now also i am approving okay now it will goes to the so this is called it as a cascading approval and the approval level is all and approval type is cascading approval is based on the reporting structure and similarly it approval to be completed by the reporting manager you can try as well as work group manager and there is one more option call it as a custom there is one more option call it as a custom c what is this custom custom means you can decide the approval you can decide because here it is based on the reporting structure but uh, if you want to decide the this approval process for example when the loan amount is 5000 less than 5000 only it will go to the reviewer if the loan amount is greater than 5000 it will go to the reviewer plus as well as approver etc okay now just go back to the loan creation process check out just double click see we have seen this right approval level approval level 1 or all all now i am going to explain about custom see in the custom means when the loan amount below 5k how many levels of approval is required one level how many levels of approval is required one level if the loan amount is greater than 5k how many levels of approval is required levels of approval is 2 similarly if you want you can add n number of conditions and you can mention the levels of approval sir what is meant by the levels of approval ikkada sorry what is meant by the levels of approval here see the levels of approval is see approval is based on the reporting structure right reporting structure means there is some level first level second level third level we have seen that a tree structure hierarchy tree navigation so same that levels of approval is when the loan amount is below 5k then levels of approval is one that means who is your first level approval even in your organization also even in our organization also for example if i want to take some advance of the uh, salary then levels of approval would be required first level of approval and second level of approval if the loan amount is greater than 5k then levels of approval is two now my loan request should be approved by the that particular first level of approval then because you mentioned levels of approval is two right then reviewer is also reporting to approver right that person also has to be approved so this is nothing but levels of approval now i just click on submit save check in okay 
I think this is very lengthy video. Now just come back to your car loan actions. Just refresh. See approval level is custom. Loan amount is below 5k1 and loan amount is above 5k2. What is below 5k and above 5k? 5K. So that those are when rules. I already created those are when rules. Loan amount is below 5k. Similarly above 5k. If the loan amount is below 5k, if that is true, see this one. If the loan amount is less than 5,000, then it will be routed to the first level. Similarly, if the loan amount is greater than 5,000, it will route it to the second level approval. How? Run the car loan case as usually because I have already configured right. Save just to save. I am logging with as usually customer. Customer loan amount I am giving three thousand. Just click on submit. Now the loan request is three one zero one two. Now let's log in with the reviewer three one zero one two. Now I am going to approve or rejecting approve. See immediately it will go to the next stage because there is no approvals are required if the loan amount is less than five thousand. Only one level approval is required. Now I am going to create another case customer. Now click on create a car loan. Now loan amount is 9000. Click on 9000. Sorry, 31013. Now let me log off. Reviewer. C31013. Now the reviewer has to be approved. Now here two levels of approval is required now because if the loan amount is greater than now again what is the next level approval? Approver. What is the next level approval? Approver. Okay, click on go. Now the approver approved. Approver approved. Now see, this is nothing but a cascading approval based on the reporting structure. There are multiple options one, all, and custom. One, all, and custom. Now the last option is last option is. Okay, what I can do is I will make a different video. This authority matrix, I'll make a different video. The authority matrix.